Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about food freezing calculation and we're, all, we're also going to be explaining about how to use the sensible heat and latent heat equation, all right? Also, I want to emphasize that this method is going to be very, very easy because when I was... Uh, doing these problems in the past it just to be so difficult sometimes but with this you're going to be able to understand easily all right so let's get into it so to begin with we're going to start with um the color let's choose yellow all right let's start with this so it says how much heat is required to freeze and store 300 pounds of strawberries from this to this okay so what is my mass let's put in here something like given okay so given is going to be the mass mass is equal to 300 pounds 300 pounds of what of a strawberry so why do we need the the, the type of um food because we want to know the properties strawberries right so i have a table up here that based on strawberries carrots turkey there is a complete list of uh, thermodynamic properties and in this case we have in here this table a strawberries we have the initial freezing point a specific two specific heats and one latent and i'm going to provide this complete table in the description below this is from the pe handbook uh, uh, book okay, all right but I, i'm gonna i'm gonna provide this in the description all right so now we have the mass we have the strawberries and then we have the temperature so we need to freeze it from a temperature okay of 77 degrees all right and then we're gonna change it to a temperature of 25 degrees all right there we go so what happens is we're going to be using this, this kind of diagram. And since we're going to use this that is more important, I'm going to use another color. So the diagram is the following. So we start here, this point. So what is that point? That point is the temperature that says 77. So we are going to start with our turkey at 7, I mean with our strawberries at the temperature of 77. And then we're going to go to a temperature of... We want to go to a temperature of um, 25 degrees. So we're going to put in here 25 degrees. And the issue with this is you cannot go straight. If, it would be nice if you go straight, but no. The, the part is that first you need to know the state. So in here you have an, a normal temperature. And then you're going to hear from here. And you're going to go freeze it right here. Before going to 25 degrees, you're going to freeze it. And then when we're going to freeze it, and why? Because 77 degrees Fahrenheit is above 30.6 degrees. Okay, so you're putting here 30.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's going to be my freezing point. Okay, freezing point. Freezing point. Okay, again, number one, it's a normal temperature. You cannot go straight to frozen food. First of all, you go to normal, to freezing point, and then you need another extra heat to go here, to freeze it more even, all right? But number one, you, first of all, you need to freeze it to the freezing temperature, and once you're in the freezing temperature, you need another heat. There we go, that's another heat. Okay, so in, in total, how many hits do you have? You're going to have three hits. Okay, I'm going to put that in white. So you're going to have Q number one is the heat required from 77 to freezing point. Q number two is going to be the heat required to convert this element to ice or to, to freeze the element. And then you're going to need Q number three to continue freezing below the uh, the temperature all right so in other words you're going to you're going to have the following the total heat is going to be q1 plus q2 plus q3 there you go and then you as you can see you can identify this what's going to be q1 q1 is going to be sensible why is it going to be sensible because there is a change in temperature when there's a change on temperature then you have a sensible heat okay why what is q2 q Q2 is latent. Why is latent? Because no delta T, there's no change in temperature. 
all right see you need this is going to be a constant temperature you're going to be freezing your food right here in freezing point and then q3 is there a change in temperature yes from 30.6 to 25 so that's going to be a sensible heat so that's going to be sensible and delta t there we go it's easy right so now sensible heat let's start with q1 so we're going to put in here let's do let's go back to yellow so q1 it's going to be equal to what is it sensible delta t sensible heat so it's going to be mass times uh, a specific heat at constant pressure times delta t all right so what would this be so that's going to be q1 equals to what is the mass mass is going to be 300 pounds okay and that's going to be times what is the specific heat uh, uh, apparently we have two specific heats and then since we're going to go to this table let's put it in pink a specific heat there is a specific heat one and there's a specific heat two which one do i choose the one that is above this is above temperature right above freezing point see freezing point is right here 30.6 right now we're gonna use this is above freezing point let's put in here above freezing point above fp freezing point and this is gonna be below below fp below freezing point okay so let's put that in pink how about that so what is the specific heat above the freezing point 0 0.96 okay btus divided by uh, pound Fahrenheit and then we're gonna go back to yellow and then in yellow we're gonna put this in here what's the delta T you're going to freeze it from 77 to 30.6 okay so that's gonna be 77 but um, first of all let's erase that okay and then we're gonna put in here the following mm -hmm. what is it delta T is actually 77 minus 30.6 Fahrenheit and then this goes away with this pounds with pounds and you have BTUs how many BTUs do you have in there so that if you do the calculations I'm going to do the calculations that's going to be 13,363.2 BTUs there we go BTUs I'm just going to make sure that that's correct, all right? So I'm going to put in here in my calculator, 300 times 0 0.96 times, uh, you're going to have a delta T in here, 77 minus 30.6. Yeah, that's correct, all right? So now we're going to go to the second hit. So this is completely done. So we have this in here, done. Now we're going to be for the Q2. So what is Q2? Q2 is going to be equal to the mass times latent heat, okay? Specifically latent heat. So in other words, Q2 is going to be equal to mass. What is the mass? 300 pounds times, let's put the specific heat. What's the specific heat? Let's put it in pink. A specific latent heat in, we have that for these strawberries are 132 latent heat of fusion okay why do i say a specific because it's divided by mass so if it wasn't divided by mass i just call it normal but anything divided by mass i call it a specific and it's usually like that so that's going to be 132 btus divided by pounds and this goes away and then what would be the result so this yields equal to Okay, so let's do this. If I check my calculator, that's going to be 39,600 BTUs. Okay, BTUs. So we have the latent heat and now, now we have Q2. Now we're going to be doing Q3. So now that it's frozen, see, we're going to calculate how much is Q3. Q3 is going to be, again, sensible heat. M, C, delta T, C, P, or C, delta T, all right? So Q3 is going to be equal to 300 pounds, okay? Times, what is the specific heat, see, a specific heat below freezing point? A specific heat below freezing point is going to be equal to 0 0.44 BTUs 
BTUs per pound this goes away and then let's do the calculation in here how much would this be this is going to be equal to 732 39.2 BTUs all right that should be it so you have the three hits you have the sensible you have the latent and you have another sensible at the end you're just gonna have to do a qt the total amount of heat is going to be equal to 13,363.2 BTUs per hour plus uh, 39,600 BTUs per hour plus 739.2, okay? So what is the total amount of heat required, okay? So let's do the math in here and then let's add this up. So that's going to be 13,363. 13, Point two plus thirty nine six hundred plus seven hundred and thirty nine point two. Okay, so that's gonna give me a total of fifty three thousand seven hundred two point four BTUs. All right. So in other words, in order to in order to freeze this much of strawberries from this temperature to this temperature, you're gonna need this amount of heat. Okay, all right. So in how long? So we're gonna add a little bit more on this problem. So in how long? Let's say that this is gonna be in 24 hours. In how long? In 24 hours. So in other words, we're gonna calculate the heat rate. And whenever we do this divided by time, I usually put a dot in here. That's the normal convention. So that's gonna be uh, 53702.4 BTUs. In how long do we want this? So we're extending this problem. This is divided by 24 hours. Okay, so that's that's gonna give me a, a BTUs per hour. So the heat rate is gonna be equal to the following: 53,000 divided by 24, and that's gonna be 2,200. All right. So I need this amount of BTUs per hour: 2,237.6 BTUs per hour. All right. So this is. This is very interesting because now we're going to select this. So this is the method. This is the method, right? So we calculated Q1, Q2, Q3, and this is sensible heat, sensible heat, latent heat. And the only difference is this. So when you have sensible, there is a delta T, as, as you can see in here. So we have been changing temperature. So in other words, if you're having a test, you can always say sensible is related to change in temperature. Latent, no change. And then sensible change in temperature. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. All right. Thanks so much.